Now, the United Nations is tasked with setting and maintaining standards for the way countries interact with one another and the world. Now, our Yi Yunshin takes a look at how its New York headquarters represents the heart of the international organization. Since the end of World War II, the United Nations has been trying to carry out one central mission, that of maintaining international peace and security. And since 1952, the UN headquarters in New York has been the physical and symbolic platform to achieve such universal goal. Built by an international and collaborative team of designers, the headquarters aim to provide all 192 UN member states with a forum to engage in dialogue and find areas of agreement to solve global problems and conflicts in a peaceful manner. Moreover, the organization's status of being a global body that rises above national borders is further underscored by the fact that the New York headquarters are located on land owned solely by the UN, meaning that no government has jurisdiction over the facilities. The UN also has offices in Geneva, Vienna and Nairobi, but the New York complex can be viewed as the very heart of the organization. It houses the General Assembly Hall, a unique place where esteemed speakers can address the whole world in a single room. The conference building holds the Security Council chamber, where world leaders make the tough choices, especially those involving issues of peace and security. And the Secretariat building is where the Secretary General, the chief of the organization, has his main offices. And whoever is elected to head the UN next will have to make sure to keep alive a global legacy built by influential predecessors and represented in these halls. Yunshin, Arirang News.